Welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be reviewing this battery operated pole pruner from Mountfield. This is the MPP50LI. We put the Mountfield pole saw to the test and tr trimmed some of our really high um, poplar trees. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they're uh, trees that were cut down by the previous owner to stubs, and now they are just shooting out. Um, we don't want them to turn into trees. We're just trying to train it into becoming a hedge and a mm. screening for us. So we were, we're dealing with some really, really tall ones. How high were some of those? Um, uh, probably about around 10 meters at its highest point. Yeah, so we really wanted to bring that down and make it more a manageable hedgerow for ourselves. While still maintaining a certain height. Yeah. So that's why the pole saw was actually quite good for that. So yeah, it is quite high up uh, and a lot of the actual uh, trunks or branches were actually quite thick. Yeah, So very it's not dense. something that you can use a hedge trimmer for or something like that. So having a tool like this actually makes it really easy to be able to get up and cut some pretty thick branches. Yeah, I think pole saws are really critical. If you've got a lot of trees on your property um, or you've got um, very, very tall hedgerows, um, anything that you know that you're that you're really, really going to have to reach mm. or you want to start to go up to kind of four or five meters high, um, but really good for tree management and for shaping and dealing with really tall and thicker branches. Also a nice feature with this particular pole saw is that it has the extension so you mm. can extend it, which is really helpful because sometimes you are dealing with things that are you want to really get up to high and the whole po point is that you want to stay on the ground you really yeah. want to avoid climbing up ladders and doing this you want to try and keep your stability on the ground it's safer so to be able to just extend the pole is really really great but then you don't particularly want to be you're not going to be working with mm. it at that length all the time um, hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so you then can draw it back yeah. down and have it at a far more kind of um, controllable height um, I, I do find that sometimes the, the longer you extend and a pole saw, the kind of more kind of treacherous mm -hmm. it can become. So it's definitely a skill to be able to use these properly. Yeah. Um, and I would just be cautious if you're if you've never had a pole saw before, um, maybe just watch some videos. Um, just take it easy. Uh, look at the manual and wear your safety gear um, because they can be. Obviously, you're dealing with a blade that is really really high up and can be quite top heavy. It can topple quite quickly. Mm. That combined with trying to get through the thick branches. Yeah. It's, it's, it takes a, it's an acquired skill, isn't it? It is, and, and you've got to, as, as you've alluded to, you've got to be careful because you are cutting things that are more often than not directly above you. Yeah. So when you're cutting the actual branch, it, it can, I mean, it's going to come straight down. So you've just got to be a bit careful to know when it's coming so you can step back and just watch where you're going, uh, where, where that actual branch is going to fall. Yeah, good idea to actually invest in a safety hat at the same mm -hmm. time as buying a pole yeah. saw, to be honest. Um, it's something that we definitely need to purchase. <laughs> Most of the branches um, that we were dealing with were about seven centimeters on the diameter. Um, so they are quite thick um, branches. There was no way that we were going to be able to get them with loppers. Um, so a pole saw was absolutely needed. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and it was it got through them quite nice. It gave us a, a, a relatively nice clean cut. They're right here down in front of me yeah. around my feet. So I can see uh, what we cut and the, the, the cut is nice and clean. The one thing about battery operated chainsaws and pole saws is that they aren't very power hungry. So the actual batteries that you put in, you're going to get a lot of life out of them. We used the 5 amp battery with this and we sawed for quite a long time. It was quite a long session 
and we barely dented the actual battery. So battery life, fantastic. Also worth mentioning, which we tend to mention in a lot of the Mountfield uh, products that we review, is that Mountfield and Stigger um, mm. are under the same umbrella of companies. Yeah. And so you can actually use the Stigger ePower batteries in this particular um, line. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice to know as well. So if you've got already got Stigger products um, and you've got Mountfield products, you can kind of uh, think about which product, which yeah. batteries you can use in different products, which is really lovely. Mm -hmm. It is also worth mentioning that when this comes and uh, delivered to you, you will have to assemble some parts of it, which is really important mm. to know, to prepare yourself for if you've never purchased uh, a pole saw before. Um, and in particular, the, yeah. uh, blade, the blade and the actual chain. So for first time users, it, it can be a little bit daunting to actually put the chain on the bar. Uh, and it's, it's an exercise worth doing and it's something worth familiarizing yourself with because inevitably when you use a chainsaw at some point, that chain is going to slip off the bar and it's going to involve you having to take the whole thing apart and put it back on. So the sooner you learn how to do that, the better. And do it with gloves. Yes. So a big thank you to Mountfields for very kindly loaning us this pole saw to try out for this review. We hope you found it useful and interesting. If you did, please subscribe, ring the bell, and we hope to see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.